Hi, welcome back. Thanks for taking a moment to watch this video as we present this 2005 Chevrolet Kodiak C4500 4x4 equipped with a Chevron LMD 12-ton wrecker. This truck is 84-inch cab to axle. Here we take a moment to view the 24-inch Chevron tunnel box. It is a pass-through box, of course. Dolly axles are suspended from the ceiling in their own mount. This truck has the equipment that came on it. The tunnel box is also equipped with lighting. Here on the driver's side body tool compartment, you'll see it is equipped with high profile fork holders. There are low profile fork holders. There's a trailer hitch adapter and a set of tow lights. There is also a set of crossbar extensions for the wheel lift. This truck comes with a set of dollies with dolly bunks. Also a set of in the ditch scotch blocks in their own mount. The Chevron 512 has been a popular wrecker over the years. Here you can see the controls. They're very easy to access on the slope deck, either from the side of the truck or the rear of the truck. This truck comes with a tow sling. Here you can see on the pylon, there's additional marker lights and there's high mount turn signals as well. Lower work lights complement the back of the truck. Here I take a moment to run through the wheel lift functions for you. This wheel lift's really in great condition. It has positive and negative tilt. You can see the D-rings on the tailboard. Those are tied directly in line with the frame of the truck. The wheel lift on the Chevron 512 is rated at 8,000 pounds on forks, retracted. It has a set of 5,000 pound L-arms that are carried on the deck. The boom is rated at 24,000 pounds and is equipped with two 12,000 pound worn planetary winches. The winch release is a simple 90 degree turn of the handle, no fighting a rod that you have to push in and out. Again, I'd like to demonstrate the operation of some of the features. Here, I'm showing the scotch blocks, how simple they are to use. They're in a convenient location. You take them out of the cradle, slide them behind the rear tires. Take out your safety chain and attach it to the scotch block. And then draw up the slack. If you're in a hard pull situation, this will prevent the scotch block from being sucked under the tire. A federal signal rotator light bar stands on top of the pylon. It's in great working order as you can see. Inside the tool compartment on the passenger side, you'll see there's a set of two sets of forks, two inch and three inch. There is a set of spring shackle adapters and a view from the opposite side of the tunnel box. The door is equipped with a lug wrench bracket. You can see there is a floor jack and additional pieces of equipment that come with the truck. Scotch block and dolly placement match on the passenger side of the truck. A Duramax 6.6 .6 diesel engine comes standard in this truck. It is matched with an Allison 1000 transmission, which is automatic. It does have an exhaust brake. These Chevy Kodiaks are equipped with manual front locking hubs. You'll see there is a recently installed Iron Bull custom front bumper. Also, there is a 17,500 pound winch that comes with its own remote, which is kept inside the cab of the vehicle. I would rate all tires on this truck in the 50 to 60% range. Here we take a moment to pan the inside of this vehicle for you. Please take note of the headliner and the seat condition. They're in really good shape. The dash is in good shape. All switches work. This is just a clean truck. A digital switch panel operates your light bar and work lights. 
This truck has 209,577 miles. They are original miles. One of the things I noticed about this truck is that the doors are straight. The hinges aren't worn out. If you like what you see or would like to get some more information on this 2005 Chevy, give us a call. Schedule a test drive. We'll be happy to have you. Thank you.